what they always do in these films is they have these guys like, yo, I trained like a boxer. No, you didn't. You trained like a bodybuilder. Mm -hmm. Boxers do not look that way. You have very, even if you look at Mike Tyson in his prime, that's because he was very short and stout. You can't, it's an aerobic activity. You can't box with that amount of muscle. All right. So we're going to watch the Creed 3 trailer, and I'm, I anticipate that I will probably, you know what? Let me go into it with, with, with eyes wide shut. I got a singer. Let me hit that. Oh, okay. Go. Yeah, right. I spent the last seven years of my life living out my wildest dreams. Oh, so it's going to be one of those where they uh, punch each other repeatedly in an unrealistic manner and no one gets knocked out? Of course. Yes. This is built on their shoulders. Hey, my man, can I help you? Let me get an autograph. Nah, I ain't signing an autograph, but you get off my car. You don't remember me, huh? His past returns. <laughs> Damien. We got arrested How long together. Were you up? When I was like six, ago. so it wouldn't yes. matter it's now. Last week. Glad to have you back out, huh? I know I've been away a long time, but. Get myself in shape. I still got gas in the tank. Yeah, I got myself in shape, and by that I mean took every steroid I possibly could. Got in a hot tub with Hepsi salts and wintergreen. Michael Jordan directed this film. A mix of ancestry and two jogs. But I never got a chance to prove that. That's cute. I know. Shut up! Remember the Titans, bitch. Do nothing. That's the same guy. <laughs> Sly's not in this, is he? I don't think so. You think you mad? Try spending half your life in a cell. Why did somebody else live your life? I'm coming for everything. You threatening me? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think he just did. Something is going on Very much so. Why are you confused? I mean, it was like family. Now we passed talking. Then maybe you just have to find out. Do what I gotta do. Some of my methods you might disagree with me. You're both 40. I recognize mine. I know that they needed me. Somatic stress, watch a manifest. Got my only fear. I ain't scared of death. Did you hear me yet? I ain't scared of death. Did you hear me yet? What you gonna do? Threaten to take my breath? I need you to let go of your fear. Let go of the guilt. I love how he's afraid of a six-year-old. <laughs> what it is? I feel those chains are breaking. Yeah, I fear God. I don't fear death. I see those strings and take a step. Okay, obviously it looks like shit. Now <laughs> it's called. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was quick and to it's, the point. It's called Southpaw. Yes, yeah. yes. They made it a few years ago with Jake Gyllenhaal. Jake Gyllenhaal. It was written yeah. for Eminem. <laughs> um, I love it. Like, let go of your fear. It's like a kid. Like, what is it? Yeah. <gasps> it's the Chucky doll. I remember the time Wait. I stole some candy. Yeah. It's like, what are you most afraid of? Uh, bears? Yeah. <laughs> well, you're going to have to face that. What? You got to picture him as a bear. That's so much worse. I just thought it was a man. <laughs> what? Not going in the ring with a bear. <laughs> Who boxes a bear? <laughs> What are you afraid of? I'm afraid of like the bubonic plague. Well, that's who you fighting in there. Oh, oh no. shit! Ah, ah. <laughs> Give me you got to in the towel. Oh, this is backfired. I thought I was motivating you. <laughs> Kangaroos and they can box. <laughs> his warm up is just a kangaroo. Yeah. Bow. He has like a light up patch on his pouch. <laughs> if you can hit his pouch, you can hit anything. He just walks up, just gets kicked. All right, we're gonna start with something easier, like a bobcat. Yeah. Here's, <laughs> go punch a tree for a minute. Here's, yeah. a, here's honestly where I'm lost. Why was he driving his own limo? Um, <laughs> He's like, hey, you're on my car. I, I think that I don't think was it, it was a limo or was it a Rolls Royce? That was I a Rolls. It was a limo. It was, it was I think it was a Rolls. Yeah, but you you get driven in a Rolls. You don't drive a Rolls. You don't, yeah. you don't drive yeah. a Rolls. Come on, but you do not drive a Rolls. White people maybe drive a Rolls. The the building owner for my other business drives a Rolls. Oh, and he's and me, white. Oh, he's a black man. He's, you ain't black. He ain't black. Oh, Asian? Is nope. he banging Eric Swalwell? He's Hispanic. Who buys a Rolls oh. to drive? Him. He has two. That's insanity. Does he well, ride them like skis? No. Ridiculous. 
So also, would, by the way, would you, if you had a Rolls, would you be driven in? I would not purchase a Rolls if, if it required did, my driving ability. No, exactly, I would only purchase you. it under the guise that I had someone who had been human trafficked to me. Exactly. Through <laughs> the Rolls driving headhunting agency. Yeah, you don't get out of the. You look like a chauffeur. <laughs> right. That's not a, it's ridiculous. I would only purchase a Rolls like if I was able to actually throw peanuts. Yeah. That's the driver, and the driver it was part of his job to supply the peanuts for me to yeah. throw at him. I, yeah, part of it would just be hurting the person who drove me around. Yes, yeah. yeah, exactly. Nice throw, <laughs> like I just, I'd, be the, I'd have to be James Corden in a restaurant yes. in the back of my rolls. Right. <laughs> Other than that, what did you think of the movie? So here's the thing, too. <laughs> this, is, uh, this is also what they do with all of these films. Uh, let's bring up, guys, just bring up like, uh, bring up like uh, Vladimir Klitschko. Bring up uh, Tyson Fury. Um, or even bring up, you know, even bring up like Deontay Wilder, who's considered really ripped, you know, for a boxer. Just bring those physique. What they always do in these films is they have these guys like, yo, I trained like a boxer. No, you didn't. You trained like a bodybuilder. Mm -hmm. Boxers do not look that way. You have very, even if you look at Mike Tyson in his prime, that's because he was very short and stout. You can't, it's an aerobic activity. You can't box with that amount of muscle. So right. what happens is these guys who go out there and they say that they're tough. I know looking at them that they couldn't possibly have trained extensively in boxing because their muscle would naturally slough off. Look at the physique of a boxer and that's it's just this it's everything is a show and it's fraudulent and then they sit yeah. there and whack whack you know what boxing is if you actually watch it it's mostly being blocked and someone maybe gets one shot and follows up on it you do not take shot after shot after shot in the head and i just can't watch it and, and the trash talk yeah not at that weight too well, well not a jab and a side hook doesn't go way right <laughs> yeah they're throwing punches like <laughs> as you announce it before you do it yeah. hi right, bitch this one's coming from louisiana oh no i don't know how i got hit with that <laughs> but cinematically the first one and two are filmed with grit this one looks like it's like Fast and the Furious 8. Yes. Like there's palm trees and sun. It's like, what? what? You see a Honda Civic with a spoiler doing donuts <laughs> yeah. in the ring. It just doesn't look, there's got to be, it's got to be a new director, right? It just looks But they bizarre. said Michael B. B. Jordan is the director. Michael B. Jordan is the oh. directorial debut, I believe. Is that wow. what it said? Yeah. Well, he's earned it. Yes, he has. The seven years he's been living his dream life. So Which is said. also reality. That's it's just I just it's very tough for me to watch. Like the first Rocky was a great film, and I even enjoyed the second one. But it really is. It's one of those things where people think that that's what boxing is. Right. I love Rocky though. Yeah, no, I do too. Yeah. But I, my issue is when people go, "Oh no, man, he trained boxing for that movie." The one exception, a little bit, Warrior uh, had real fight consultants on set. That was a really good set. movie. Right. There was were a couple good. things that were exaggerated, but for example, they got a triangle choke right. They understood how to apply an armbar. Like the, the advice the coaches were giving, it was actually more comparable to something real. Yeah. And people weren't just getting hit repeatedly, repeatedly in the face and not going down. And I guess the reason that it really bothers me is because you have some people out there who still believe that movie combat, like they believe things like you know, they believe kung fu works, <laughs> because mm -hmm. they think that there's just no the truth is you get hit once by a heavyweight you're going out no that's physics yeah did you guys find some pictures of physiques david like, of carradine guys? couldn't even get out of a chokehold right but he could get into half asian makeup <laughs> exactly <laughs> yeah we got deontay wilder okay so that's like considered the the best heavyweight hitter in boxing wow that's that's as that's the most he's uh, not as ripped as the other guy no there in the and let's let's now go to the real champion right now tyson fury yeah that's Tyson Fury. He's the best boxer on the planet right now at heavyweight. It looks like he's had three kids. Yeah. That looks like me in college when they said, you know we have a gym, right? Have you ever heard him interviewed? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. It's oh, yeah. hilarious. He sings he's songs after the he sang uh, uh, I Don't Want to Miss a Thing by uh, Aerosmith. Yeah. Seriously? Listen, I promised my wife after the fight that I would sing to her. And after I, I won my fight, I'm going to, I don't want to close my eyes. Everyone, you can see his wife just like, uh, I don't want to let you go. Because boxing, combat sports, they're interesting enough. The consequences are so severe compared to team sports, right? Yeah. You fight maybe twice a year. If you lose it, it could be the difference between making $10 million in your next fight or 10000 yeah. You go back down, you know, to basically the scrub leagues. And uh, just that they have to lie about it. With I just hate the way cinema handles martial arts, and I hate the way that they retread everything and just say, let's make it more that. modern. Yeah. The retread stuff is what I think bothers me the most. It's like, look, if you want to create a series of movies that are about boxing in the modern day, go for it. Create something, but don't try to piggyback off of something that was great and have right. a bunch of Americana in it that doesn't really seem to have it now. It's having done some combat scenes in film and on stage. You know, you just talked about you know a left hook coming around, yeah. right? So I was on that film uh, one time called To Save a Life, where I was roughing up and I get into a fight with a, a lead character. And, uh, you know, they had to put him on an Apple box because I was significantly taller than him. 
<laughs> and they had to give him a gate, what they call a gator back. So it's like a shell because I have to jam him up against the locker. And then, right, we would, there was some punching going on. And so I grabbed him and I jammed him up against the locker. And uh, the fight coordinator came in and said, oh, okay, have you done grappling or something like that? And I said, yeah, I've done you know, jiu-jitsu, judo. He goes, okay, yeah. So I get it. You're doing it mechanically correct. He said, I want you to do the exact opposite. Everything that's wrong that would not work in a fight, that's what we do in a movie. So you guys need to understand this. He goes, I know yeah. you're bringing him in because, right, leverage. You, you, everyone here, you've done jiu-jitsu, right? I've always told you to kind of get in tight, yeah. get your elbows in, not have open elbows where you can be exploited. But he said, I see what you're doing, like a wrestler, like someone who grapples, getting him in tight, bring him to the locker. So what I want you to do is hold him where you would have no strength in your shoulders and do this <laughs> so we can see it on camera cameras yeah. can pick it up he said, exactly and you're protecting your organs in right. real life too exactly yeah. and in boxing right what's the best thing you can do like here's a camera okay you're the camera right boom like a piston right yeah. jab in and out that doesn't work you notice in creed they don't they want that because the camera doesn't register it so bruce lee learned how to fight for the camera right but if you're if you're good at fighting on camera it means that you're really good at doing the opposite of what is required to fight like you just said boxing it's very boring yeah. you can't have a rocky and it's a floyd mayweather fight where he never gets hit when i used to coach jiu-jitsu i'd say look if you're doing it effect if you're doing it right it should be as boring and as clinical as possible because you are allowing no margin for error it's the showy martial arts that don't work, right, yeah. that look great on camera, and then people buy it as though these people, there is, you know who knows how to fight in Hollywood? B uh, Bundy from Married with Children. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah he does. Uh, Michael he's Clark a black belt. He's a something. black belt under yeah. the Gracies. Is that what it is? Yeah. yeah Guy Ritchie. Uh, yeah. I'm trying to think of who else, but these guys, take those two, they would kick Steven the shit Seagal. out of, so Steven Seagal, you give him four <laughs> seconds against either of them. And yeah. he was actually a phenomenal football player, too. <laughs> yeah, he was. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah. Tom Hardy. Tom Hardy, Tom Hardy now just, yeah. he's a white belt, but he just started jiu-jitsu more recently. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, there are a few guys, but these are not the guys who portray them. So Jackie Chan, he would just, they, someone would mop the floor with it. He doesn't know how to fight. He never learned how to fight. He learned at the, uh, the I think it's the Peking Chinese Opera, where they would beat you with, <laughs> I think that's what it was, where they would beat you with a broomstick if you didn't jump over a table in time. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> Watch Louder with Crowder live, Monday through Thursday, 10 a.m. Eastern.